Hi, this is Jason Yegley, West Branch Middle School principal, and this is your weekly update for January 9th, 2023. So let's get started. Well, as always, you'll see the January lunch menu link, and I also wanted to remind everyone that next Monday, we will not have school due to Martin Luther King Day. All right, number one. Number one is map testing. Uh, we have round two of the map testing coming up. Science and math will be this upcoming week. ELA will be the week after. So again, just to kind of give you that background, this is a test that West Branch has implemented on purpose because it helps us measure. So round one, we were able to get what's called a baseline for the data. And then now we'll have round two and students will be able to show how they've grown from round one. Now, why? Well, teachers are gonna be able to take that data and decide what subgroups need pushed, pulled, and everything in between to ensure that they are ready for the state test. Um, students come to school normal at the same time, same starting time, same ending time, you know, uh, 7.30, they leave at uh, 2.45. Uh, we're gonna be on a special day um, to give this test, but nothing changes for the day-to-day -day as far as arriving and leaving school. So it is a really good thing, and I just wanted you to know this is our round two. Uh, the state test will be in April, just so you know. Number two. Well, I am happy to announce that the Spelling Bee is happening for the first time, I think, since my first year at West Branch. Um, COVID kind of got that to stop. Uh, we had thought about bringing it back last year, but we officially brought it back this year. So it is going to be this Tuesday, January 10th at 8 a.m. in the middle school gym. It's going to be grades 5, 6, 7, and 8, which we're excited to um, invite 8th grade back to partake. So ELA teachers have been kind of collecting and gathering and having kind of little localized runoffs to see who is able to, um, you know, represent their class the best. So we'll have, you know, kids from each grade level competing and we'll, we'll end up just having one uh, champion for West Branch Middle School and I'll have who that is next week and I'll have information on what happens next. But again, it is this Tuesday, January 10th at 8 a.m. in the middle school. So. If your uh, student is competing in that, uh, you're more than welcome to come on in. We have some, we'll have some chairs on the floor. Uh, thanks to Dr. Weingart, our formal, former superintendent for uh, pronouncing um, and kind of, uh, I guess, emceeing the events. All right, number three. Number three, um, I have a bunch of info on here, including a link you'll see to House Bill 410, and it's all about when you are out. You know, kids are out because they're sick, they have appointments, they, they um, maybe go on vacation, all that adds up. The only thing that doesn't add up is when you have a doctor's note. Um, House Bill 410 requires every school to collect data based on hours of attendance in and out of school. Um, there are th certain thresholds that, you know, by law we have to react to if you're out so many hours you know, um, in a row, so many hours in a week, in a month, you know, in a school year, there's different things that have to happen. And I just want you to know that vacation accounts against a student. There's, that's not an excused, you know, option, you know. Um, so if possible, take vacations when we have a natural break. Um, if you do go to a dentist, a doctor, that type of thing, an official appointment, um, please bring a note so we can document that information. All right, number four. Number four is all about the new semester. We have a new semester starting on Monday, January 30th. Um, and, you know, this is a time for the electives to kind of uh, shift and students will get a new course. Now, there are a few electives that are year long. Um, I, the only two that I can think of are choir and band. Those are year long. But every other elective is a semester or even fifth and sixth also have what's called a four pack elective every nine weeks they do get a brand new class. So I would encourage all students, year long, semester, and nine week classes to make sure that they finish a uh, second nine weeks strong. If you're missing anything, try to not miss any school, and that way you'll be able to show the most growth and have the highest grade, which again represents your level of mastery in that class. All right, number five, I just wanted to uh, send a quick, um, you know, call out there. You know, we do we do a food drive every Thanksgiving, and it, it's normal. Every school's ever, you know, they always do that. But I did want you to know that we do we do this all year long. Actually, we have a food pantry, and we have students um, in the district that go home, you know, every Friday with food. And um, it's not just a Thanksgiving thing; it is a year long thing. So it's important that 
you know, we can, you know, if, you, if you'd like to contribute, and that could be financial contribution, it could be things also that you'd like to donate just so we can put in our food pantry. Every single Friday, I know here at the middle school, um, Mrs. Hall, our nurse, gets bags packed and students take things home every, you know, single Friday for with family. So I, I did want you to know that we do have a food pantry. If that's something you'd like to um, help and be a part of supporting, please get a hold of me directly and I'll be able to um, help you with that part. The other thing is cl we have a clothing closet. It is housed over at the high school. I know many times at the middle school we'll go over and get some items for students. You know, students are growing a lot. This, you know, growing out of clothes and sometimes the clothes are not damaged and they're in great shape. So any, especially any West Branch stuff, it's even it's even cooler when we're able to grab, you know, West Branch shirts and kind of to bring up that spirit and to give, you know, give a kid a nice shirt to wear to school that they can be happy and proud of. So we do have the clothing closet and if, if you have some West Branch apparel or really any apparel that is in good shape that you would like to donate, um, you know, consider, consider doing that to our uh, clothing, you know, uh, I guess drive that we, we also do all the time. So if you have any questions about anything, not just the five topics that I talked about, but anything, um, my email and my extensions at the bottom, as always, try to get a hold of me directly instead of using those social media outlets that sometimes can just, you know, spawn uh, misinformation and confusion. So that's all I have. Have a great day. And as always, go Warriors.